Please be seated. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. This is a case of McGowan versus Martin. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. McGowan, you say after the death of your husband, you were trying to find your way, but ended up finding a man on the internet, had sex with him, and two weeks later, you discovered that you're pregnant. Yes, ma'am. Now you claim the defendant, Mr. Martin, is without a doubt the biological father of your eight-month-old baby, Caden. Is yes, that correct? Mr. Martin, you say there's no way you're Caden's biological father, and you claim to have a mile-long list of doubts that will clear your name today in court. Yes, Your Honor. One main reason is that you believe the man she's currently living with, who will join us shortly, is baby Caden's biological father. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. McGowan, so you say he's done nothing for the child? Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing? Nothing at all. When I met him online, he misrepresented himself. He told me he was a good man, he was a good father, he was into <laughs> church and everything. Baby Caden is eight months old. Yes, ma'am. Any diapers? Uh, he tricked me over there one time and said he has diapers for the baby, but he didn't have any. <laughs> no, he didn't have any. Mr. Martin? Yes, yes. You've done nothing for the child? No, I did nothing. Why? Because some fact, um, first night we had sex. The first day we met each other, we had sex. And um, the reason why I don't believe it, believe is, is uh, this is my child, because she's very promiscuous. And, and, and when you have sex with a woman, you have sex with a woman the first day, that's red flag anyway. Did you use protection? Oh. Uh, no, uh-uh. No, uh-uh. <laughs> so if you have sex with a woman on the first day and you don't use protection, you understand that if it's in the window of conception, you might be her child's father, right? No matter how... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter how promiscuous she may be. Well, first of all, um, far as my sperm count, I, far as my sperm oh. count, it, it stays low because I have sickle cell, and I, and and it's, it's hard for me to make a baby anyway. And and, and when in um, far as the sex thing, when the passion goes, it goes. And it, 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 it got time to be doing all that. When you in the heat of the moment. Are you suggesting you don't have time to use protection? I'm Your clean. Own. I'm clean. Yo. I'm clean. I trust, I trust that she was clean. It ain't that much trust in the world. Yeah. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, well, um, you can do all that. Well, all that. Well, you honor... Um, and not do anything for a child you possibly created? Only reason why, because after the fact we had sex, I went through her phone. When I went through her phone... Yes, I, the first I, night, went through my phone. I went through her phone... And I woke up out of sleep. I said, so a man just came over here the other day and gave you sex and sent in uh, the text. But you had just met her. Thank you. Yeah. Thank but you. But I just, I just met her. And the going first through my night, phone. You, you, wait, the first night you're with her, you have sex, mm -hmm. then you looking through her phone. Mm -hmm. You don't use protection. Okay. Because you ain't got time for all that. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. That's ludicrous. Yeah. Explain to me. If this, in fact, is the sexual encounter you've had, as irresponsible as it is, it's done now. Mm -hmm. After it happens, mm -hmm. and then there's a baby on the way, mm -hmm. I need to understand how you can doubt. Because there was other mans involved. Okay, I'm but wouldn't you then be one of the potential men? Okay, out of one of the potential men, All right. it's others. Okay. So therefore, I cannot be, I cannot be that one. I cannot. You know what I'm saying? What math are you doing? What math I'm doing? I'm in doing your mind. I, because I... if you are one of the potential mm. fathers, how do you exclude yourself from the number of men that could potentially be her child's father? Because the next day she has sex with another guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Miss McGowan, I'm gonna go to you. I wanna Thank give you. Mr. Martin time Thank to you. process. Yeah, because he's... A, he's a um, la -la He's saying there are other men. And you were here, and you're convinced he's the father. Yes, ma'am. Did you have sex with somebody else the next night after? No, I did not. Not the next night. He got all kind of men in his head. He probably... I went with the mailman, the milkman, uh, just in his head. Because <laughs> one minute he nice, and the next minute he not. But he is the father, no doubt. Why are you so convinced? Can you just explain that to me? Yes, because of uh, the conception date. And my son looked exactly like him. Exactly like him. Even Ray Charles can see that. <laughs> you have
have any proof yes, of the dates Yes, I have the calendar intimate... of the dates. You do? Yes, I'd like to see that. Jerome, would you hand me her evidence, please? All right. So you presented a calendar mm -hmm. that outlines the date you were intimate with Mr. Martin. Yes, ma'am. And that's April 2nd. Yes, ma'am. So you're intimate with Mr. Martin on the 2nd. The doctor tells you your conception date is estimated at April 3rd. Were you in a relationship with anybody else at no, that time? No, ma'am, I was not. Did you have sex with any other men during the window of conception? I did. A couple of days later, I did. A couple of days later? Mm -hmm. Okay. Matter of fact, three days. Listen, this is court. I need you to be honest with me. That's why we're here. Okay. It's to get the answers. Okay. So a couple days later, you had sex with someone else. Yes, ma'am. Would that be a couple days as in April 5th? Yes, ma'am. Okay. How about April 6th? Yes. Same person, though. It was the same person. Would that be Mr. Brody that's in our court? Yes, ma'am. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So, why are you so convinced it's Mr. Martin's child when you had sex with Mr. Brody so close in proximity to when you had sex with Mr. Martin? Did you no. use protection with Mr. Brody? No, ma'am. How do you stand here and just point the finger at Mr. Martin? Because... When you know that you were also intimate with another man without using protection a couple days later. Yes, ma'am. Do you have a relationship with the other man, Mr. Brody? Yes, ma'am, I do. I do. What's your relationship? We live together. You do? Mm -hmm. So you live with Mr. Brody? Yes. But you truly believe your child is Mr. Martin? Yes. Wake up, really. But if your child is Mr. Martin's, that would negatively affect your relationship with Mr. Brody. Yes. Yet you're here to prove yes, that your child is Mr. Martin's child. Yes. He don't want Caden to be his son because he don't want to no, take no responsibility for nothing. He got other kids he don't take care of. Well, so I do. He, but I, his sperm count low. But, remember, um, remember he yeah. said his sperm count low? I huh? mean... All my other kids got sickle cell. Where you get that from? Do, do he got sickle cell? Your son does not have sickle cell. Who or... was at the hospital, Mr. McGowan? Mr. Brody. Because you weren't gonna have me come up I there. I called him. He, he didn't, didn't want to do that. You, you say you called him? Yes. Did you get that phone call, Mr. Martin? Uh -huh. I texted him, matter of fact. She he texted text me three days later. My baby's in the NICU 12 days. Okay, well... At the hospital... Never he... visited the baby? No. He, I texted him money. before I went to the hospital. He didn't come. It's about money. And Mr. Brody been there for me since day one. He been dropping off so money. So you said, money it, since he didn't show, <laughs> I will take the gentleman I'm with and let him support me through no, this. No, he, he just been supporting me from day one since my pregnancy. He been supporting me. And I had a hard pregnancy, on. My baby was born five weeks early. His lungs was not mature. He stayed in you for 12 days. He, he was around the corner. He could have walked to the hospital. That's how close he is to the hospital. He did not come. I think it's time we meet Mr. Brody. Jerome, will you please escort him into the courtroom? Careful going up the step. Mr. Brody, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. You know, we're here discussing the paternity as it relates to baby Caden. Yes, ma'am. Uh, there's been testimony by Ms. McGowan that you were in a sexual relationship with her during the window of conception. Yes, so you could potentially be Caden's biological father. Yes, ma'am. Question to you. Uh-huh. Do you believe you are Caden's biological father? Do you believe you are... Caden's biological father? Yes, ma'am. You do? I do. You want to be yes, this child's father? Yes, ma'am. Explain. Because I've been there... Man, Tina and I, Miss McGowan and I have been messing around since February. I just pray that he's mine. Mm. I really do. I'm because when he was born, I, he looked like me. He was a little light-skinned red baby. Mm -hmm. He had my cow licks and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and I was the first one to see that child in the Nick unit when they took him from his mother when he stopped breathing. I sent her the pictures of him. Mm -hmm. I was there. Mm. When Miss McGowan was going through, uh, she was borderline just uh, 
diabetes while she was pregnant with him. I took care of Miss McGowan. I washed her clothes. I fed her. Her feet would swell up. I took care of her. I, wrote I made sure she was at her appointment. That's I took care of Miss McGowan. So did you sign the birth certificate? No, ma'am, because one thing I say is this. Before I sign that birth certificate, his real father, if I'm not his father, his real father should have the opportunity to put his name on there and have his son in his name. That's what I'm here for. You have the birth certificate? Yes, Let I me sure see do. that. Jerome, will you hand me that, please? So, this is baby Caden's birth certificate. Yes, ma'am. And there is... No father. N- no father listed. Mm-hmm. And you did that purposefully. Yes, ma'am. Explain. I did that because I wasn't sure who the father was, but I thought I should wait until I find out the truth before I put any father on there. But I think if Marcel is the father, he needs to step up and mm-hmm. take her responsibility. And if he want anything to do with my son, I think he should put his name on the birth certificate. Well, I did try to step up to the opportunity. No, he did. After, after the six-week checkup, after his six-week checkup, she called me. She said, I'm going to go to the six-week checkup. I had to come by. She came and spent the night. We had sex. We had sex. Oh, my we God. We had sex. We had sex after that six weeks. Six weeks? She was at my house. Well, after I she came from that apartment, she spent the her night Her and Kate was at my house. No, they were not. Oh, trust me. And her six yeah, weeks. I guess, and another thing. I took her for her six-week checkup. You know, when she got her hair her done? You know, she got her hair done and came back home? Because I done it. You, you, roller set, I done that. Oh, you done Her that? braids, yeah. Wait, you doing what? roller set? Man, I took care of this woman. What are you talking about? He don't know nothing. Okay. He just sitting here running off his mouth. Show you me. had fun well, look, laying down with Miss McGowan, yeah. but you can't have fun taking care of McGowan. Well, this out. Yeah. That's yeah. the problem. That's right. If I can do it, you can. Because if he's my son, okay. you better believe it. We won't have to hear from you no more. And if he is yours, we still don't have to hear from you because we ain't hear from you now. You want to hear from me. But you running your mouth. That's what the problem is right now. You want to hear from me, bro. Well, you better step up. Or step out. Which one you gonna I'm ready. do? If he's yours, you better step, I'm ready to step up. up. That's what I did. You oh can't. my God! Let's get some order. Let's chill down a little. Okay. Chill out a little bit. Your Honor, you see his whole conversation about being with me. And That's his focus. No, so on me. He cares nothing about. He don't even know my baby middle name. You see me right there. Oh. That's me. That's me and Stinker right there. That Stinker man. He knows. Oh, he's so cute. He knows no one else but him. That's he all know he knows. He is. knows me. I don't know who this is, and he don't know me. Your Honor, this past Father's Day, Memphis, Tennessee, saw it in them to award me with Community Father of the Year Award oh, in Memphis, wonderful. Tennessee. The mayor was there, city council was there, and state representatives was there. So Caden will not fall short mm-hmm. on a daddy or a father right. when it comes down to that. That is great to hear. I'm a single father. I have a seven-year-old daughter I've been taking care of since 2009. And when I was told she was pregnant, 41 years old, me, it just blew my mind. And then when I seen him in that Nick unit with those tubes running out of him, that was my baby. He's mine. And I don't, I, don't, I don't understand how a man can walk around here and wonder about the mother instead of what's laying in that basket there with them yeah, tubes running know. out of here. He's so worried about Miss McGowan, what she got going on with me. It's not about Miss McGowan and I. It ain't even about him. It's about that little baby right there. It's not about, about money me. following no money. About I have about no money. Just you... But I got all the love and I can make sure he got I'm a roof over too. his head and food to eat. Make sure he get his education. That's what I can do. And, well, ultimately, it really is about baby Caden. It is. Oh, most definitely. And that's most why definitely. we're all here. Yes. And I have the answers you all are seeking. Jerome, uh, may I have the envelope, please? Please do. And just know, if it is my baby, I'm stepping up to the fullest. Well, do that. I'll be and, proud and, of you. And, and you I hope do you don't that. mind. I would not Can you bring him to the house? That. Can you bring him to the house to me? Sure. <laughs> Never. You give me some gas money, yeah. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. I you got want the you. same thing I'm on. Do you all want to argue or do you want to get the results? I, I got want you. the results. Get the results, okay. ma'am. We'll get the results. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of McGowan, 
versus Martin. When it comes to eight-month-old Caden McGowan, pertaining to whether his biological father is Mr. Martin or Mr. Brody. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. It has been determined by this court. His biological father is Mr. Martin. <sighs> That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, now I can get my rights. I can spend time with my baby and teach my baby how to be a carpenter. And Mr. Martin. I just want y'all to bring I, them. I just want to tell you this. You've missed eight months. Just bring them over and I got the gas money. We don't need no more talk. Conversation over. But I, I do thank you for stepping up, buying him all, all this stuff. And I, I told her when, he, when she came over to the house after that six weeks, and I told her, I said, this man done did all this stuff. It got to be his child because it ain't no man in his right mind. Just gonna pick up and just do that. But you did. But you did. What, but kind, you of did. Men, what kind of men do you know? That's what we I wanna this, know. We well, see what this is in your honor. I'm no, glad no, no, they no, broke no, no, no. the Hold on, no, hold on. No, no, Mr. Martin, no, Mr. Martin, no, let me inform no, you. No, 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 let me inform so you. I don't know no man. I've seen plenty of men step up for a child that could not possibly be their biological child. Because they recognize. That an innocent child needs that. Now, you all try, trying to outdo one another? No. Instead of competition, work in concert. How about that? Yes, ma'am. That would be more powerful for this child. So you three yeah, have got to get it together. I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned.